the Canarian Oyster Catcher, Hemimotopus medel waldoi, is also often referred to as the Canarian Black Oyster Catcher. It is identified by its distinctive red eyes, reddish orange eye ring and bill, along with its body covered in black feathers. A common problem that often occurred was the misidentification between the Canarian, African, and Eurasian oyster catchers. Of these relatives, the Canarian oyster catcher was originally thought to be a subspecies of the African black oyster catcher. Later in 1982, it was determined to be its own species. The only way to definitively identify the Canarian oyster catcher was to capture and measure it. The Canarian oyster catcher had a larger bill, shorter wings, and a glossier shine to its wings than its extinct relatives in Africa and Eurasia. From bill to tail feather, it was about 16.5 inches long, weighed 1.3 to 1.8 pounds, and the wingspan tended to be between 9.8 and 10.4 inches long. Females tended to have longer beaks and weighed more while males had a longer wingspan. The Canarian oyster catcher ate mollusks and crustaceans. It is thought that the Canarian oyster catcher lived 13.7 years. And due to its relatively small wings and noteworthy legs, it spent most of its time on land and very little time flying. The information that follows is what scientists have extrapolated based off of the behavior of other oyster catcher species and limited observations in the wild and the information from the residents of the area. The Canarian oyster catcher was unlikely to be a migratory bird, meaning that it remained on the Canary Islands, particularly the islands Fuenteventura and Larzarota, but there were several other isolates that the birds were known to live on all year. It cannot be definitively stated that the Canarian oyster catchers preferred to live on rocky shores or on the sandy beaches, as it is a possibility that humans had scared the birds from the be beaches. The Canarian oyster catcher is thought to have lived on the rocky shores due to its diet of intertidal invertebrates. Any information referring to the reproductive behavior of the Canarian oyster catchers is primarily early speculation. Like other species of the oyster catcher, laid their eggs in the most remote areas with the least amount of human activity around, but the breeding season is unknown. The Canarian oyster catcher is believed to have laid one egg at a time, and once mated, it remained monogamous for the rest of its life. Despite the Canarian oyster catcher's valiant avoidance of people, in the end it was humans that brought the once healthy and successful species to its unfortunate end. After the European Union Red List and BirdLife International assessments failed to find any signs of the species, in 1994 the Canarian oyster catcher was declared to be officially extinct. The last specimen was collected in 1913, and local reports of sightings stopped in the 1940s. There were several reliable reports in 1968 and 1981, but extensive surveys in 1980s failed to produce any evidence of the species. The official cause of the extinction of the Canarian oyster catcher was the overharvesting of intertidal invertebrates and the disturbances caused by people. As humans inhabited the Canarian Islands and took up more resources and area, the birds could no longer avoid the effects of humans on the environment. There is also evidence that the human introduction of invasive species cats and rats to the islands also endangered the species. Both cats and rats are credited for the extinction of the bird, as the Canarian oyster catcher was not able to effectively escape from the cats or hide its nest from the rats. With these combination of traits and environmental disturbances, there is no attempt to revive the species, as introduction would most certainly fail